Hello, 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 hello. Who's still not? Maybe I should be whispering. Y'all come in. If you wait, slide up on this porch and let's gossip a little bit. Hop up here. Let's go. Let's go. Who is out of the bed? That's what I want to know. Y'all come on in. Hey. I see my nephew is here, Michael, Queen of Hearts KS. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Listen, it's a Monday night. Normally, y'all know I don't bother y'all on no Monday night. But I have no child in the house, and dad is working. So I'm by myself. So I said to myself, and couldn't nobody answer but myself. And I said, hey, let's call the royal family. Let's see who's available. Hey, Cheryl. Y'all hit the like button as you come in. You know, that's how you help me out. I did not set this live up early enough for them to send out a notification. And y'all know they wouldn't, even if, even if I did. Half the time, they won't. Dora, hey, girl, I tried to call you. You on break? I know that's right. It's good to see you. Hey, DS, how you doing? Y'all hit the like button now. What's going down? It's good to see you. Hello, Quiet Storm 87 how are you? Auntie Eva, you made it. All right. Dr. J, that's my girl, honey. She got her crown up. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if y'all royal family, you know y'all got y'all own set of emojis down there. Use your royal family emojis. Spam the chat if you want to. I'm just glad y'all up. Because I really... Ooh, child, this is day one in the house by myself with no children. I don't know how I feel, y'all. Because y'all know a whole lot of a whole lot of days, nights, whatever. When I'm on live with y'all, I still be, you know, I still have on my mama hat. Y'all know, because I be talking to y'all and still hollering across the house, calling the baby and everything else. Hey, Miss Peaches, you know. Yeah, so it feel a little funny when I don't have a child to get after. Like, who am I supposed to, you know what I mean? Y'all done been in here how many times and heard me holler for Emma? <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's real bad. I'm one of them mamas. I will call you all across the house for little or nothing. Sometimes here's a re here's the real funny thing. Sometimes I call that girl and don't need nothing. I just be wanting to look at her. Ain't that nothing? Y'all hold on. Ooh, okay, y'all, I'm back. I thought I heard something. That's the other thing about being in an empty house. That's the other thing about that good old empty house, baby. Every little sound now I'm paying attention. Because, you know, before I didn't have to. Because you know how it is. You hear something, you automatically assume it's the child or them blasted cats. But then, like, once the child and the cats is gone, if you hear something, you're like, well, what the hell was that? Okay, <laughs> Miss Peaches say empty nester, baby. This listen, this nest is emptied in a mug. Only reason it's no echo because it's full of furniture and clothes and stuff, honey. Other than that, it might be an echo in this son of a gun. Okay, the divine Miss M. That's right. Hit that like button now. Hit it. Hit it. Michael say, Auntie, I finally watched last night episode. Finally, oh my God, I can't with this foolishness, baby. We got to talk about some more foolishness. Okay. We got to talk about some more foolishness. Your baby getting ready for law school with Miss M. Listen, <laughs> it's a different kind of feeling. You know, this is that's the that's the last child, and she's just off with her big sister. Um, for now. But you know, when they leave out of that house, it's a whole different set of worries. It's a whole different set of worries, honey. Like you worry different. When them jokers are out of your sight, because you got to, you know what I mean? It's different. You got to be able to, you know, lay your eyes on them when they're younger. You can look at them and you know they're okay. Once you let them out your house, you got to trust that God got them. Hey, cool gamer, what's happening? 
Yeah, the cat's gone too. Her and the cats, all of them. And Geneva got cats. So all the cats is in Tallahassee. Okay, now they trying to film a reality show for the cats. You understand? I ain't gonna give y'all like no inside information, but if they if we can get the, the you know the show shot for the cats over there, okay. It's a real it's a cat reality show. If they can get that pilot shot, I will review the cat reality show. I think y'all will like it. Like the whole premise for the show is the bomb. I think y'all will like it. Emmy and EV are working on it. It's an E&E production, okay? Hey, Jen S. What's up, girl? Michael said, I'm out here on the porch with you, Auntie. I'm ready. Okay, yes. Yeah, sure are the cats. The cats are gone. They're, they're getting ready to film their reality show with Emerald and Evie. So look, listen, listen, listen. So now I mentioned, and I know I mentioned it yesterday, right? Y'all don't mind keeping me company, do you? Hit the like button. You know that's y'all way. That that's that's the biggest way I need y'all to help me out. Please hit the like button, please, and thank you. Okay, and feel free to support the stream if you if you like. You know what I'm saying. But if anything, please hit that like button. That means so much to me. If y'all could just hit it. Hey, D. Saratinas, what's happening? So listen. Now I mentioned that that ugly picture yesterday. Remember we talked about that picture, and I pulled a picture up. Uh-oh, it's the beautiful and gorgeous Nisi Rose. Hey, sis. So look, we talked about the picture yesterday, okay? And I know we did. And I mentioned that somebody said it was a leak. Well, I didn't get all the information. Quiet Storm 87 said, I can't wait for that production. I'm subscribed to the Garden of Beauty channel. Yes, I'm not sure whether we're going to release that over there on the Garden of Beauty channel, whether the cats will have their own channel. I'm not sure how we going to, how they going to, you know, I'm, I'm an EP, you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, of course I'm the mama. Okay. Cause I gave birth to both of the producers. So I definitely get EP credit, but as soon as we figure out which channel the cat reality show will be released on, I will let y'all know. Cause I'm sure it's going to be real good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> hey DV. How you doing, darling? Hey DV. Hi. Miss Peaches, what you say? Yeah, they trying to blame Mark. But see, this is the thing. So I didn't have... Hey, Keisha Posey, how you doing, sis? So look, I didn't have all the gossip on who said what and why they thought it was leaked or whatever like that, okay? Now, when I first heard that they were saying that the photo was leaked, right? I was under the impression that Bravo leaked it or a producer or Andy Cohen himself because of the way the photo was posed. This definitely was not taken with anybody's cell phone. This wasn't no, oh, it's a professional shot, but somebody stole it off a computer. Like, this was very much like, almost like a cast picture type situation. I don't know. It just, it seemed too staged to be something that somebody took, like it wasn't an off guard. So I'm thinking Andy Cohen, maybe, or whatever like that. Hey, Miss Nisi, you about to go to sleep. All right. Thank you for hanging with me. Y'all hit the like button. Help me out. Hit the like button, please. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So when I went back to find out who was saying what, now I went over there to um the little young man, House of Aaron. Y'all know I love him so much. He's so cute. So he was saying that it was um Candy's friend, Jamie, that went on social media. And she was the one talking about Oh, if, if this person had any real jobs that was paying or something, why would they, you know, that they leaked the photo or whatever? Now, that really got me. Miss Peaches said, dry as the season, man, why worry about a picture being leaked? That's what I'm trying to say. Because at the end of the day, y'all wore them ugly dresses. We going to see them eventually. It ain't like if somebody don't leak the pictures, we going to see them ugly dresses. I don't know who picked that color. What that color got to do with y'all going to Portugal? Don't they normally like build it around the cast trip or something or some kind of theme that was prevalent or like, I don't understand how they came up with that. Yeah, Aaron said it was, um, he said it was limited, said that, and he showed the social media post which made that comment. Now he had a theory, I ain't gonna get into it. Y'all go over there and support House of Aaron and watch his channel. He's got a great channel. And lots of people watch this always saying funny stuff. Excuse me. Anyway, I digress. 
Um, anywho, for James to say that, I'm sitting there like, who told you it was leaked? If it was leaked, why we ain't hear nothing from nobody else? Why is this person the only person talking about it was leaked? It was leaked? Why would anybody else have a reason to leak a photo? I wasn't sure the photo was leaked at all. Like, I have so much about that. Like, me personally, Michael, that Portugal trip was a high from start to finish. From the butt, butt cheeks, drunk at the wine, the pilgrims, and all, it was horrible mess. But I'm to even no point to be embarrassed by them, like the dresses. Who's going to see them eventually anyway? They already done started filming or finished filming the reunion. So it's not like they're going to come back and film a certain version of the reunion where they get put on decent dresses. Y'all make sure I hit the like button now. So Candy didn't get the just told memo look like to me. You breaking up. I'm breaking up. Y'all can't hear me? Uh-oh. My bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for saying so. I ain't know. Hold on. Hey, Cassiana. Okay. So y'all hear me now? Okay, good, good, good. But yeah, we didn't have butt cheeks, pilgrims, drunk people, green wine, the cuffy challenge. With that corniness, we got sound baths, people not taking baths, and child, all kind of stuff that went on. That trip was a mess. And I told y'all last night like, to meet Miss Peach, it looked like Candy had on one of them dresses they be performing in and it would escape with. That's what it looked like to me. That's what, you know, that's what I got from the outfit. That's what I got from that. I can't know nothing else to get from that. I'm still going in and out. Hold on. I can't tell, but I think so. Yep, yeah, they were talking about it. Now, you know what? DS, you, you something serious. The dress looked like they was about to say Mr. the same man, now they the Andrews sisters. Wasn't that the Andrews sisters with that? What's up, Pasiana? Hey, Nona. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with this perception. I don't. Like, tonight, it's weird. It's really weird tonight. Like, I can't even call it. This is crazy. Say reunion dress remind me of Portugal ancient ruins. Oh my God, not ancient ruins. Okay, so you said maybe it was a dummy photo shoot. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. Let me try to switch that again. Hold on, y'all. All 
All right. Do I still sound digitized and all that stuff y'all saying? Hey, let me yell. I think it's still messing up. Like, it don't matter what device I'm on. I think it's still messing up. Like, I don't know. I think Comcast is bugging tonight. I know. We're going to roll. We can't. Y'all hit the like button and help you fill out. I'm going to roll till I can. Then, like, if it messes up, then we'll just go. Yeah, I think it's uh, honestly tonight, y'all. I think it's Comcast. Like, don't nothing else make sense. This is silly. This is silly. Pure silliness. Mm mm mm. But anyway, so I just back to what I was saying. Oh, this sounds rudely interrupted me. Um, right, Catherine. Hey, girl, why would you pretend in such ugly dresses? Like, I don't think that was a pretense. So, it's like some third graders work really hard on kids' dress, they really gave everything they had. Now, they did they gave it 150 cents? They brought out glitter, feathers, stickers, everything. And I do mean everything. I think I even seen some pipe cleaning that dress. Everything was on that dress. I feel like they worked real hard. Some more outfitted. Santa Claus. Y'all crazy. Y'all are crazy for real. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully this fixed it, y'all. I don't know. I think one cast is at whole a whole night. Yeah, they came with hot glue. I mean, they had Elmo school glue. Yeah, pipe cleaners. I saw all kinds of stuff. Little pieces of crushed glass and mirrors on there. Everything was on that dress. Through everything to dress. Everything. Say this and pom poms, but was it? We need to see a post Nisi before we conclude. Before we conclude that they have the pom poms off, I need to see that dress up close and personal. I need the dress to come in closer examination before I conclude that they let it off. DS, yes, I think it was a little paper machine thrown off up in there. A little piece of play doh Mm hmm. Hey, Shani. I know. It's okay. I'm just glad y'all hit the like stream. I don't know. To be honest, y'all, I don't know if it's stream or whether it's Comcast. One of them has an ignorant. So y'all got to help me out. Hit the like button. Let's roll into what we got going on. You know, resolves up, hopefully. Milo definitely looked the mess, but you don't be mad at for it and try to call all kind of names and say she slept with 30,000 men about a dress. But you know, it is what it is. Oh, and you talk about Marlo going live and saying what she said. So I want to know who accused her of being jealous of somebody, and who the hell did they accuse her of being jealous of? Because I sure hope it wasn't Kenya. I just hope it wasn't. I really do, y'all. Head to toe, yeah. I don't know. Kenya hasn't been doing that bad with dresses, so I don't know. What, I don't know what happened to this dress. I'm just gonna be honest. I expected Candy to have the ugliest dress, and she didn't. She did. She looked like she was about the same. Everybody wants a warm money, but she did not have on the ugly dress. Not at all. Not at all. She absolutely did not. And don't come for me because my voice don't go that low. That's as low as I could give it to you. Hey, Alex from Miami. I'm glad you called us. I am. Ooh, you think Ken probably leaked it? You know that's what that's what it said. Now he said that he might have, might be on to something too. Now I'm not gonna say wrong. I'm not gonna say he wrong. He could be on to something. At this point, you know everybody's guess is is mine. As good, I think everybody's guess is as good as everybody else's. We have no idea, or if it was leaked at all. To be honest. 
Ashley said, I was watching a season four reunion. Candy had her whole Spanx out. Child, Candy normally used to look a mess. Even last year, she looked ridiculous. And I finally saw the girl that made that dress and be like Superman slammed off the top turnbuckle, like WWF style. It was horrible. Kenya, Kenya was the worst dress to me. I didn't understand why you did that. I, I, just, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Hey, L E L, where you been? I miss you. I miss you. Know you my family. Where you been? Yes. So, child, Mo had them went live, went off talking about she want a soft life and she ain't jealous of nobody. I said, Oh, Marlo. Oh, Marlo. What is going on? What is going on? What made her do that? Who said what that set her off? Because I feel like somebody must say something. I, I just don't want to believe that she just you know, just dry went up. But she she had she has things to say. So I think you needed to dress a link to it. This reunion, you know, you do long, long gowns. Um, I don't know. I've seen short gowns. But I'm not coming in for that. A couple years, a few of them had on short gowns. Marlo was there in their neck a few years back. So I ain't going to say nothing about the rest of the gown. It's all the good sparkle on it for me. It looked like she was about to go home. Honestly. No. <laughs> and this is why I came on here. I didn't want to just be in this house and be quiet. I hit the like button. DS, can you look like a for dust? I'm through. You ain't wrong, no. That's the part that's killing me softly is that you're not wrong. You as army brother, that's right. Hey, y'all. This my girl. Y'all hit the like button now. Hit the like button. Shannon said he just reminded me of her game. She looked like a mocking Jay fly. Listen, may the odds be ever in your favor. Don't you start that mess up here tonight, okay? My neighbors don't live close to me. Like their yard is kind of being so is mine. They might hear me and cackling over here and call the law. So don't y'all hear me screaming stuff because you know, you know, when your house empty and you hell out laughing, it sounds like it sounds so different. Queen of Hearts said, I think it was said on Candy's live. Uh, it probably was, but Jamie did say something on social media. And House of Aaron had the screen. I don't have it, I didn't see it. Hey, Gossip News, how you doing, sugar? My sister on the phone talking about can you look like Angry Birds. I'm through. I ain't got time for y'all foolishness. We need every ounce of it. I need every ounce of it. Say, Candy, this reunion was season 10. What color dress was that? And then I can kind of remember. What color was that dress? Wait a minute. Mike, what you say? Sheree dress looks like from the clearance room. I can see it. And look, you know what it really looked like? Y'all had dressed in Ross in the back. Ross dresses. It looked like she got the dress from Ross on a rat. Mm. While sixes and sevens is that. That's where she got that dress. It looked like she didn't iron it, but she took it off from that either. I ain't clowning on her, but it's really indeed what it looked like. It's off the rat. It's definitely getting off the rack. I'm not judging. Ain't nothing about being off the rack. Do not come for me. Okay? Don't come for me. Please understand because this is right here. I can go get my own fabric and stitch and cut my own um, very capacious backside. I don't have to wear off the rack unless I want. To. Hey, Terrio, what's up, girl? You hit the like button now. Don't come for me. Nothing wrong with off the rack. I've done it. That's some news. Say I found out my ex fiance had a whole other family. Wait a minute. Child, her show out. Oh, the gold outfit. You know what? You got a point. You got a point. You got a point. You got a point. That gold wasn't there. Well, yeah, son, you good pregnant. She's pregnant. Um, 
Kathleen is doing too much glitter, bob, glitter, big hair, long sleeve. Don't forget the feather, the the, the pipe cleaners, the shade dough. She did everything on that dress. Yeah, the dress was a rugged baby. A thing went nowhere near it, nothing else. The feather didn't look like it was the best. It had pools in it. I, mm -mm. You just hit the like button. That's all right. As long as you did. everybody else, y'all hit the like button too now. Keisha posted the Ray was looking like she was going to the middle school prom. Yeah, she did. Even though if I'ma keep it real, both of my dogs look like baby dolls when they went to the middle school prom. But you know, I dig where you're coming from, and you ain't I'm happy for Sonya too. I listen, let me say this. I'm happy for every married woman. Who's looking for fruit of the womb and find it? Mm hmm. Miss Peach, Miss Dix, no Miss Peach was at 12 when they were virtual. Then they was all right and tried to con Nene putting on black and she didn't do it. I'm glad she, they all, they were always trying to do something to Lanithia. But let me let you know what Marlo had. Hold on. I ain't never been to no one. Have a vacation home who don't not. I didn't so far out because it'd be so like you love me, girl. I want a tough life. Be jealous of you. Jealous of what? Hey, Ed. Vacation home. We travel to. I mean, the night is not so confused. I'd be confused with these girls for being quiet. I know I can go real when I go. Yeah, oh, Martha. She's just been quiet. I want people to know for the ones who be thinking I'm jealous of whoever thinks I'm jealous of them. The math is not math thing. Like, I work so hard and I don't see nothing I want to have. Mm. I love a luxury lifestyle. I really do. I really do. I like a soft lifestyle. I already had a hard life. Jason, five different lost homes, jail. I don't want to be rough anymore. I don't want to. I want to be soft. I want to travel out the country. No, I want to shop. I want to get my nails done. Really feminine sometimes. You know, all the good stuff. I'm not going to tell you, you said I was. You guys was deep. I want you to know I'm jealous of anyone doing what I can do. You know? Who doesn't have a vacation home? Who doesn't have a yacht? Who doesn't travel out the country? Um, I'm not jealous. We live a life of validation. I like a free lifestyle. A life of validation. I don't have to be validated. God validated. So please stop the narrative. I'm jealous of you. I'm not sweetheart about you. Our lifestyles are totally different. We like the same. Baby, she she don't want to work hard, so I don't know who that is that she's talking back. But my is hurt for whoever it is, because we already they go, oh, she's so messy, she's so terrible, she's so horrible. But I'm just like, they they should probably leave that girl home. <laughs> she said, "Well, she real Florida, say she going below," and I'm glad she kept it clean for her life, and she go all the way there. Even though, if I'm being honest, I would have been, I would have left my off. I would have left my entire house. For real. Mm-hmm. Miss Peach, that's what she said. Marla said she want to live a soft life, honey. That's what she said. Y'all hit that and help your sister out. Help me out. So I just was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So who did it? Um, I feel like people who lack depth, the people who lack depth, that's that's their go to is to say somebody is jealous. Everybody's not jealous of you. Some people just don't like you. Hey, to a bad. Oh, they said it in the speak. I don't like, you know I don't watch on it. I know I don't watch lie on it. Y'all make me watch enough lies on Sunday. I have, to, I have to come in here and talk about them. So I don't watch lie on it because all they seem to do there. But yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. But I think, like I said, people depth, people are very shallow-minded. Their brain lacks the ability to process complex thoughts. 
the first the first place you go to is that someone has to be jealous. Sometimes people like you. Sometimes y'all click. Sometimes you want something different from your interaction with your friends than they want from you. Sometimes people that want to be your friend, they just want to be your friend. They don't want to have to kiss up, kiss behind, downplay themselves, dull and shine. They don't want to do those things. Doesn't mean they're jealous of you. It just mean that y'all don't mesh. It's time to pairing. You know, y'all want be great friends. Y'all want different things. Okay. Oh, you say I'm speaking on it. Right. I, I thought you were saying that said it over there on it. I don't mind speaking on it. Uh, I, I, it don't bother me one bit. Bonsoir, madame. The case is in the house. All right. Got your twin woman in the house. Yeah, hit the like button. So I was just like, okay, and I can do because I ain't jealous of that, that's doing that, 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 and I can do the same thing you're doing. So I'm trying to wheel this thing down. Okay, I, I was trying to wheel this thing down. And um, Lord Katua Bay said, I watch Sugar Mama T. I'm going to you and watch Sugar Mama, honey, because you might pick up some bad habits. I don't want you paying no men. Listen, like, my heart is strong no more. I can't take the kind of shocks and surprises in my old age. I can't take on it. It's hard on me. I'm just saying. I ain't handle all that. So I'm glad to know that you ain't picking up no new, no bad habits. But look, I could dig on that because I'm sitting there like the problem. Excuse me. I feel if you ask me it's giving either Drew said Ke or Kenya. I don't believe Sandy. I believe it was either Drew or Kenya. And the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that is because and I'm leaning more towards Drew, if I'm being honest. Because Drew is trying to make fetch happen, and this is not happening. The dog left the building. Ain't nobody fetching a goddamn thing. She's trying to make this thing happen with her husband. We saw him coming up. Next week, she gonna have a man running up in that woman's face, all type of nonsense. But y'all, if I'm being completely, bluntly honest, I feel like she's trying to pick this thing where she wants to be able to say, thank you, love, for saying bless you. I think she's trying to create this narrative so she can say that, you know, Marlo is jealous of her marriage or jealous of her or her what, relationship with a man that don't want her and probably don't want now another woman on the planet. But I just feel like, you know, I think that's who she's talking about because I ain't seen, seen nothing so fabulous that if Marlo brought up that you know, somebody don't travel outside, that's why I'm leaning toward because see, King the country, she take little Brooke and they go out the country, then they go to Paris or something, you know, so she does leave the country. However, when they asked um, Drew when the first time she left the country, she said after, the leader, after she married her. So it don't sound like she got a whole bunch of stuff on her passport. It sounds like her passport is as naked as a piece of raw chicken. Like there's nothing on it. And so I'm like, it's probably her. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, Candy can travel outside of the country. She goes places sometimes, I believe. You know, she can't afford to. And if she can buy her mama a house and her baby a push and take care of everybody that she want to, surely she can have a vacation house as if she want to. So it couldn't have been her she was talking about. I feel like it had to be Drew. I feel, I'm sorry. Could be wrong, but I feel like she, Marlo, sorry, this season is boring. I keep telling y'all most the most interesting thing on this show happening on social media. It ain't even happening on the show. For real, for real. Miss Peach said, Don't nobody want to be Drew or Kenya. Show don't. Hell no. Mm-mm. Hell to the no. One of them, like she got a curse on, like somebody you know, always hollering about curses. The way Drew lies, it feels like somebody really could have like taken a piece of her, you know, some deep somewhere, some shrine, and she can't stop like it's some kind of curse on her. 
You know what I'm saying? It's so funny with that. It's my little sis. I see you too. I'm going to call you when I get this live. I don't know if I'm going to be up, but I'm going to call you. I miss you too, gorgeous. Hey, Vita from Denver. But listen, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I feel like it's giving somebody took a piece of Drew's clothing, a piece of hair, or something to some shrine because she can't quit the line. And when it comes to Kenya, I don't know. I can't see her to be in jail, can you? I can't. Pretty enough. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, baby, pretty is not enough. You know why? It's almost normal for black girls to be pretty. Black pretty black girls are down a dozen. All, every black girl in this chat is gorgeous. Like, y'all don't, don't make me call the room because y'all know all I got to do is start hitting avatars. Like, all I do is start hitting avatars. I hit them at random. My baby sis is gorgeous. All I got to do is just start hitting avatars. Like, my point's proven the minute I start showing the girls. Minute I start showing the girls, the girl does it. like it, it can we be for real one time. Can we be for real one good time? In all honesty, if we go to the truth and I'm the devil, I made black because he was, was clearly just showing off. He was clearly just showing off. I understand you, can you, but you know, the mold was not broken after you was made and you were not you were not the first or the original they have always been for black girls hey man like that's just what it is you know what I'm saying? enough ain't nobody jealous of that but no can you just online trying to pick at the girl court talking about her mouth crooked and me and me and my big man geneva peanut we was on um we was on um the phone talking about how she picking at Courtney talking about her mouth crooked. And I'm like, can you everybody got flaws and you didn't want to chill? Oh, there's the beautiful Bianca Edwards. See that work, just another beautiful girl just popped up everywhere. You see what I'm saying? Black girls, pretty black girls just pop up out of everywhere. Out of everywhere. I don't know what happens. I don't know if you got to sprinkle diamond dust on the pavement and or on the earth. Black, pretty black girls just spring up out of earth. I don't know how it works, but they're clearly everywhere. And for some, Kenya seems to think she was the the first best and only pretty black girl. There's too many. There's just far too many. Hell, you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, and you know to be as grown as she is, trying to on some talking about her mouth crew. And I'm like, can you point that flaw? You told too many. You told two flaws behind you. A whole bunch of huge potholes in your baby. Everybody got flaws. You know what I'm saying? Like I just like girl, if you're gonna tell a girl tell a joke, to sit up and try to mimic the, you know, the fact that her mouth seems asymmetrical, whatever. I don't know if she had bells or whether it's just like a natural how mouth is made. Like, okay, cool. Point it out like a joke. But the fact that she sat up there like she was really in third, twisting her mouth. It was like, girl, you doing a lot, Kenya. You doing a lot. You got a whole list, little mama. You got a whole list, little mama. Walking around with contacts and baby front wigs, little mama. You might want to chill out, sitting on a bag of potatoes behind you. I'm just saying, ease up now. Ease up. Because you know, you the joke tell themselves, we got off on your skin yet. Kenya's booty and body is crooked. The audacity. Yeah, she did. She did. She did. And then when somebody was on um Twitter, my older pretty girls out there, it's always somebody hating on pretty girls and she reposted it or something. Hey, Don Diva. And I'm sitting there like, girl, you got a whole lot of nerve. You got a whole lot of nerve. We, I mean, I'm going to just go out on them and say it. Y'all know Kenya color struck. I feel like that's probably she kind of got a problem with that girl real bad. Once you know she she won her alliance and candy and candy don't like the girl number one, but I don't know can you construct? No, I ain't gonna go too deep into that. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean. She is, 
And I feel like she feels some type of way about this because, you know, she is color struck. I'm going to just leave it right there. Let y'all feel it. Yes, Nisa, it is so miserable. And there's no reason for it. It's the reason for it. Like, at the end of the day, you still pretty lady. You could be happy. You making your coin. You ain't got to be in the gates to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, this is my little bro. Hey, good boy. Yo, we was having problems with the sign. I don't know how to make it stop. Oh, wow. I'm not on the, I'm on the computer on the live, so. I, hey, Google, shut up. Child, Google be eavesdropping on all my conversations. I can't stand out. But I think, I think Comcast is messing with me. <laughs> what you Yeah, the list, the feds about 20 you lay on me. I don't, I'm not even supposed to do. <laughs> I know. I'm going to do my best to get up at. All right. Love you. Bye. I love you, bro. Eva Kenya beyond color. She is. She is. Ooh. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. She said they bless my beautiful son. You too. I love you. Thank you so much. Lord, good boy listening at home. Not your twins. Mom said, hey. Okay, my bubby is in bushes. Probably meal prepping. Always doing the right thing, and I'm always doing the wrong thing, okay? And it's evident by whose waistline better. Okay, and it ain't. AAE say her child divorce was literally created by design, a design led by her culture insecurity. AAE, if you don't tell girl, talk it and keep telling the truth. I don't even know what else to say. You know what I'm saying? I be trying not to say too much about it because I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell y'all why. Can I tell y'all why? I I try to go. I know I ain't gonna never be. Ready. It's not not in my nature. I can't sugarcoat because we got to die better. You can't handle no look. But I feel as though there's too many sisters who are lighter compacted, who don't understand all the nuances of the colorism conversation. And I don't want to get into it, not have the time or even the best internet connection or whatever. And they end up with their feelings hurt because they don't understand the nuances of the conversation. That's why I don't always get all the way with it. Because Kenya is a textbook of where the flip side of color. Because we see sometimes where girls who are, are mistreated due to colorism that runs in our community. And sometimes they come bitter toward lighter complexed girls. But it's also the flip side where they start to fit into that paradigm rather than just missing it and breaking it. If, does that make sense? It's, I think that's why she went so hard, like, oh, my hair, my hair, I can prove I got long hair too. Nobody never said, I'm not going to say some people haven't said that, but when you're around people who've never said that to you, that as a black girl, you can't grow long hair, why are you? You sister upon that. Like, who are you trying to prove that to? You know what I'm saying? And I think the securities about her complexion, which your color is lovely. Your color is stunning. Now, you know what I'm saying? Don't take care of your This is a different thing. But your actual color is, is, is stunning. There's nothing wrong with being dark or dark and it is gorgeous. But Somebody has, has those types of insecurities, you'll see them try to want erase it in their children. I feel like I'm seeing come the baby, I'm not gonna get into it. Y'all know I come to me, but this is children at all. But I feel like that part of what I'm there was her trying to somewhat erase her blackness in her project. 
And we see that a lot. I'm not picking on her. A lot of black women do that. Now, if you just have somebody and, and it turn out, you know, because like, that's a bit lighter, it didn't happen. But I feel like we have seen a little bit of pattern with Kim. You know what I'm saying? And I think for whatever reason, and I think that it, I really truly believe it is connected to the issue why she has such vitriol for you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts about that. But like I say, I try to I try to tread. Now, I'm not going to say lightly because I don't tread lightly. I can't do that. I wear a size 10, honey. Okay? this I'm darn six feet tall with a stand. Foot. Okay? I, I can't tread lightly. But I try to tread tactfully with, um, with that subject. Just because I want to mindful of all of my sisters when it comes to that because I know those things can, can, can sometimes because of different things that I that all of our sisters have been through I don't care what connection you are it has hit you at some point if you be honest you know what I'm saying <laughs> oh my sister phone is missing I'm so glad she didn't type that in chat but um yeah so that happened okay let me tell you what else i saw so carlos put a preview for nini's interview tomorrow let's talk about that okay the preview that he put out for the interview tomorrow it looks like nini is going to address the issue when they were with friendship you know but with home, the issues, and everything else. So I got from the spit. I can't wait. Y'all know part two of Carlos King's interview with Nene Leaks will be coming out tomorrow at 9 a.m. I think he said he's the standard time. So y'all know I'm going to listen. And then we have to reconvene on this porch to talk about it. Okay? She was talking about the fact that um basically... Um, that their friendship, you know, she really liked her. You know, when, when Wendy was fun, she was really, really fun. She said it was kind of off and on. And that Wendy would just push up on her sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they would be cool. Everything would be fine. And then she would see Wendy be saying something just about her. She would try to tell herself, oh, she just, you know, it's good TV. She just saying stuff and kind of figured out that maybe it wasn't just TV, you know, that type of thing. And she's like, he liked her as a person. Um, you know, of course, they fell out, and they, they, they don't speak, have spoken. Um, the last time she said she heard from Wendy, she said, we call her, she didn't call her, which I don't blame because that's what you do. When somebody act funny with you, they only get one time to act funny with you. Don't ever let nobody tell you by showing you or otherwise they don't want to be bothered with you more than once. One once they make it clear, lead them on. For real. Don't do that. It's it's pathetic and it comes out groveling. I'm I'm so grateful that she left it like that. But she said Wendy did call her and Carlos asked, was that after his off the show? And she said yeah, yeah but official. That's what people just feeling need her. You know, before they stole that woman and gave it to Sherry Shepherd. Uh, you know, now more and more, it looked like maybe we didn't want to go back on that show to make sure she ain't had to pay that man no money. And I'm mad because it was ridiculous. Now, um, let's see. What else she said? Oh, he, I re okay. So I remember it was the whole thing before about um, Nina supposedly was going to have a talk show. And I heard in the way we didn't get the details. Apparently, it was with the same production company that was producing Wendy Williams show. And I believe, unless I misunderstood something, I believe that what she's saying, what she was saying is that her and Wendy had like a little pin forward situation or something. And after that, the next she knew the whole deal was cool. Because she said her deal was in the works. It was already, you know, like it was almost a done doc. And then she knew the whole got pulled. 
whatever. So I guess we're going to hear all of that tomorrow, and I can't wait to hear about it. I want to of that. But I remember that being a topic. I remember that being a topic, and I remember being completely shocked. I completely shocked at that. Could not believe it. For real, for real. So, anywho, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Jenny and Taylor. She said it was supposed to be um the person that they were talking to was Tom Arnold, Roseanne Barr's husband. That's who they were talking to. Now, if Nene and Tamar the show, it would be kind of funny, probably. But I feel like they would end up like their person. As much as I think they're cool, I think their personalities would end up clashing. I feel like their personalities would end up clashing. Even if they didn't butt heads, I think it would be two huge personalities trying to exist in one space. I would, to, to be honest, I wouldn't want to see that one. That's not scary to me. I wouldn't want to see that. That's a lot. That's a lot. I feel like for daytime TV, give me one or the other. Or, uh, matter of fact, give them both a show. Let, them, let us watch back to back. Not on the same platform. That's a lot. That's a whole hell of a lot. Oh, God. I can't even imagine that. I mean, ain't no yin and yang. That's just yang, 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 a whole lot of it. <laughs> yes, a a scary. Sis, that's scary. That's scary as hell. Okay. Y'all do a like count. Bianca, check the likes. Y'all please hit the likes. Y'all see that Comcast is trying me real, real hard right now. So please, y'all hit the like button. Help your girl out. So look, then, then, let me tell you something. Nene was online messing with the people. So you know she didn't end up to let everybody know that hun, that hun, the Easter suit man don't go together no more. Which I was fine with that because y'all know I don't like him. I have never liked him. I'm never going to like him. Okay, that's just what that is. So anyway, but she had occasion, I guess, because, you know, she met him through Peter. So she was out, I guess, having lunch with him and Peter. And, um, you know, I guess because the Internet is so silly and people so get so worked up every time she even speak to Peter in the same room. So she, her crazy tale, going to say, I'm out, I'm out having lunch with friend number one and boyfriend number two. And talking, and she said, and bees is mad. I was dying laughing. I said, Oh my god, y'all, I went straight to the comment section, and, and bees was mad. <laughs> bees was mad. They was all they were on there losing their freaking mind. Oh, why would she do that to send me? Like they ain't even friends, and they Peter been friends. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, I thought she never flirted with Peter. I don't see her flirting. What are y'all talking about? But she didn't lie. I when she first when she said it, I was like, oh, probably not gonna have something to say. Y'all went to that conversation. Them people were upset. Nene was not joking. She know how to make them people mad for real. And they were really, really, really mad. Okay. <laughs> They were, they were. Y'all, please hit the like button, thumbs up, okay? I know I got a struggle connection, but I feel like talking and I'm trapped in this house by myself. So y'all talk to me now. Hit the like button, okay? Engage with a girl, engage. So that happened. I thought that was pretty funny, okay? I thought that was pretty doggone funny. I enjoyed it. I did. It was worth a little key. I can't wait for that interview tomorrow, though. If I'm being honest, I can't wait for that interview. Um, because apparently we saw at the end of part one that she was gonna get into the whole Bravo lawsuit so we can get facts instead of the weird people who don't like her just making up stuff as they go.
Mm-hmm. Yep. Lord, I'm through. Say five fifth and nine shaw. I'll be there refreshing Carlos King's feed. He said nine m Eastern. So I know you in California. So you know, do you count? Do you, you count that? I forgot how many hours. I think it's three hours for y'all. Okay, you hit the like on both devices, Shiny. I appreciate that. I do. I do. I do. So listen. Ooh. Child, let me see what y'all talking about in this chat before I go. I just need somebody to talk to. Hold on. Catherine say right now there's too much nice nice on daytime. I don't watch anybody anymore. Me either. It's like watching a bunch of fourth grade teachers. It's like it's that Essence Festival crowd. That's who's on day, daytime TV now. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I ain't seen nobody that liked the Essence Festival. I went one time and I got so mad I almost cried. For real. That's not my crowd. At all. At all. <laughs> and that's the crowd that's on daytime TV right now. I want you, I can't get into daytime TV a little bit. Not even a little bit. Let me see what's going on on Twitter, child. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. What you say, A? Hey, say if you want to change the two biggest personalities of Tamar and me will bring it. 10 a.m. and 11, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. Now, I told you, do them back to back, sis. Back to back. No, no. I don't want mm -mm, Hell no. Hell no. I'm scared that let Nene come on at 10, let Tamar come on at 11. Or vice versa. Take my own at 10 years at 11. I don't care which order you do it in. I do not want them two girls on the same screen. That's too much. You ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss nothing. Girl, I went to that mess up so mad. I saw so many pet pushers, patty melt shoes, um, bus driver, and fourth grade teacher haircuts. And all them helpers was looking at me crazy. I was so mad I didn't know what to do with myself. I Oh my god, oh my god, that's right, y'all. Hit the like button, please, and thank you. Hey, he you said we about to enter election season. Nene and Tamar and they mantle and shade OMG. Yeah, no, I don't want none of that. No, I would take a Nene and a Jennifer Williams, I would take a Tamar and somebody with a mild personality, but I don't want them two hot peppers on the same. I just, I couldn't, I can't deal with that. Sis, I ain't lying. As much as I love Nene, I wouldn't watch that. Hey, Nina Ross. And they said, fourth grade teacher haircuts. Golly, I'm telling you, that's what I saw. That's what I saw when I looked on there. And it was not, not when I was there and I was so miserable. Right, Catherine, that would be a very loud two hours. Yeah, I can't take all that. Yeah, give me Nene and Jennifer Williams. Give me that. Give me that. I can work with that. I can work with that. But don't give me a Nene and a Tamar at the same time. Right, Lala, I say get somebody else to do it. I'm not sitting through that. No, hell no. Oh, hell no. Not no Clawfoot. I don't want to see Clawfoot at a dog fight. I don't want to see Clawfoot Jordan. No, I don't want to see her working at the sewage plant. I don't want to see her working at a landfill. I don't want to see Prince Charming working nowhere. No, 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 no. I don't want no more groups. 
what happened to a show with with a lady with a personality by herself i'm tired of that group stuff i don't like that group stuff Neither, first of all every time you put sisters in a group anybody who personality stand out of everybody start attacking them no 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 enough of that that nini's all over the atl no thank you yeah i'll watch nini on tv but i'm not gonna watch her with no tamar that's too much for my nerves i like tamar some but i take all that not all at the same time hell no that sounds like pure torture and i pay my tithes i'm not supposed to be tortured no way i ain't never watched no view either i hate crap like that i swear to god i do i'm not watching no group or nothing i'm not watching no view no real no sister sir all that book is too now to me that's some cornball stuff good night true wisdom you late but you here. i know that's right down there chilling in mexico we need to load up a charter bus and go visit true wisdom <laughs> we do we do right i could watch one person on the screen i don't like that ensemble bunch of women sitting around all of them talking about this no 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 i feel like if you need all them people with you you probably don't need to be there I don't want to see all that. And y'all, I keep seeing these pictures of Sharice with these ugly wig, with this ugly bond wig on, y'all. I can't hardly take this. This is too much. Are we are we to blame for this? Because we picked that other wig, and now she she got that one. Is that what this is? I don't know. I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to wonder. Is social media to blame? Are we to blame? Mm. I don't know. Now, Shannon, don't do that. I made up with I made up with Sharice's wig. Me and that wig made peace. We I'm not beefing with that wig no more. That just say Nini is rude. She wants you to spend money in her business, but won't speak or take a photo. She a regular person, Dr. J. You might not want to be taking pictures with people all day either. I love Nini, to be honest, but. You know, I, and, and to be honest, I don't think it's rude for somebody not to want to take pictures with people. If you walk into KFC and the owner's in there, you think they're going to stop and take a picture with you? They're not going to do that either. Yep, they made it safely, Southern Charm. Now, girl, you know, if my babies had not made it safely to Tallahassee, I probably would have lost my mind. Y'all might not have heard from me no more. But thank you for checking on them. Yeah, Big Reese worrying me that wig, y'all. She worrying me. Mm-hmm. Now, see, you, you, Shannon trying to start something between me and Sharice's new wig. I do not have beef with Sharice's new wig. I'm not beefing with the wig. I'm not. I don't like that wig. You know, the wig ain't said nothing about me. I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't hate wig. Me and the wig ain't never had words. I'm not even going to start with that wig. I'm going to try not to. So if it makes me funny, I won't look at it funny. That's all I can say. You know, but at first glance, I feel as though I did that wig.
Lord, now Kenya on Twitter trying to say that Courtney jealous of her. Lord, somebody give Kenya and me and tell Young Yetta to go visit her. Does this girl really feel like the whole world is jealous? Why, why on earth would Courtney be jealous of her? Why, why Lord? I, I can't. I cannot. He said that wig is beefing with gravity and Sharice is yeah! <laughs> See? AAE when it all when it when it jump off, I'm tell the wig it was you and it was not me. Now if the wig won't smoke with me, then you know don't start none, won't be none. It is what it is. Southern charm say party city wig. So see y'all starting with this wig. When that wig jump at y'all, then you you know, you know, I got y'all back, whatever, but y'all starting with this wig. Girl, I sure did get my drink. Yes, I did. I got a pineapple mix for the peach. I sure did. AAE they just sucking up all the moisture and good health of her scalp for shame. Ooh. Y'all rough. Y'all rough tonight. Actually, yes, Big Reese will be back. I, t- I just said, I, I think you might have said it first. I got a pineapple mix with a peach. I did. So that wig is an endangered species, maybe. But the way y'all making shots to that wig, that wig ain't gonna survive. Y'all gonna have to put that wig in the Smithsonian. Lord Ashley say, don't say her name. I got an essay to finish. Mm-mm. No, Courtney ain't married. She got her baby daddy, but she ain't married. That's right, y'all. Join not your twins, mom. Hit the like button, y'all. Convene down there at the like button, okay? Press it as a group so nobody gets lost. Lord, AAE, y'all going after this girl? We be extinct. The last mass extinction that was supposed to go. Oh, oh, y'all, come on, man. Say she better have her back when that wig come. <laughs> you better have her back when that wig come for her. <laughs> Listen, if we turn on Teresa, I cannot help her. I'm nowhere near Potomac. All I say, I know I don't say it, put it on the floor, but big recently to put it in the trash. Okay, so now y'all, you want to rip me out the plastic stuff. I'm tired of it. Y'all, I saw a video with this old lady that I, somebody, somebody grandma, somebody big mama was trying to do the rip me out the plastic and they put that Wendy's to bag over that lady's head and the song had the that almost the whole song had them played, and grandma still got that bag off her head. I'm like, y'all don't get that bag off, grandma. All y'all going today. That thing took them so bad. I'm like, why did you do this? I did quiet storm. I did. We did a test yesterday during the um after the show review, and I made everybody say it, and everybody started yawning. I'm yawning right now. So you start talking about yawning, yet everybody start start yawning. That's why Ashley was like, "Don't say her name because it'll make you yawn." Like you you type to say that out real quick, quiet storm, and see if you don't start yawning. As soon as you say, as soon as you say that name, I deduce that she probably got like a sleeping spirit on her. It's got to be like a spirit of sleep on her, like all all around her. Terry Hill say the wig was saying, "Hey." How you hey, how you doing it in the front and the back was saying let's party? I'm through now. The wig is talking to her here. Y'all bad, y'all are bad. When that wig decide to try to jump, y'all. I got your back, but y'all started all of this. So I mean, I mean the sis in the chat, you better have her back. Okay. I mean, I got y'all back, but y'all really going after this wig. I made peace with the last week. I'm not going to beef with this week. AAE say, if Kenya don't listen to us talk, who would actually listen to Kenya? Child, nobody. She's so nonsensical and idiotic. I believe the paint on the walls would leave if, if it could dislodge itself. She is one ignorant cow. 
Then he says, stop it. I'm yawning again. See? See? It's rough. <laughs> Ashley said, I slept like a baby last night. I bet you did. We said that girl name so many times. I believe you slept good last night. Ooh. <laughs> and cheek bones equal slumber party. I'm through. It's easy now because Ken still has a very small child, but when Ken's daughter's a preteen, wow. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. <laughs> Drew the one walking around with that mullet wig. Drew got that mullet wig looking like, um, you know, Joe Dirt. She got that Joe Dirt wig on. From 70 AD. That first one was, but I made peace with the wig, so I'm not, I'm not, you know, we agreed that it was a truce. We both waved the white flag. No, Don Diva, go to the corner. This nut say introducing the title of election, the Sharice, in 1-1-B and 1-B-30. And Listen, that's is that is that the wig you put on and you just fall asleep? <laughs> you put on that wig to go to church and then make it out at the front door. Is that is that the one? Oh, I can't fool with you. Don Diva is silly. I'm so glad y'all keeping me company tonight. He he Elliot say, but how we know it's not the same wig that relic may have shape shape capabilities. I don't put nothing fast. Oh God. Why y'all like this? Oh, oh man. Yes, not your twins, Mama Joe Dirt. Drew had your dirt wig on. Business in the front, party in the back. Southern Charm say, didn't like Kenya telling Brooklyn people are mean to her, not appropriate. I, I felt some type of way about that too. Don't make that baby feel bad because you're her mother. And her first instinct is, you know, she if she feels like somebody hurt her mama, then she's going to feel hurt. That was kind of responsible. But, you know, Kenya has the mind of a child. She don't know no better than to do stuff like that. Now, overall, I still maintain, I think she's a good little mom. But, you know, little things like that, I think it just, you know, they say children shouldn't have children, you know. But there's no saying for when, you know, the mother is in her 50s and still is a children. And I know I used the wrong tense, but okay. She is a children. Drew Wick was given bipolar vibes. Child, you sure it wasn't schizophrenic? You sure that wig wasn't making her hear voices? Not the Joe Exotic wig. Miss Cass is so safe, so you done clocked in, huh? Okay. Y'all clowning bad tonight. <sighs> he he L -E -L, if you didn't call it just like it was Sharice called herself the grand dom and not and the wig said let me try to fit the part child that's the same wig oh mm. not the rap put to sleep we have money show what the hell is a money show? That don't even sound spiffy. Yes, let's. Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. Now, I don't know about no abuse. Now, I ain't seen her abuse that child. I ain't seen that. I'm, that's, 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 I can't call. Uh, I didn't see her abuse that child. I didn't see that. Um, Shannon say no one was mean, but why she couldn't say I hurt I hurt my booty when I failed to understand that. Right. That's all she had to say. But to say something like people being mean to me and I'm sad, when you say that to a child, that hurts children. I remember, you know, I was a bad kid. You know, y'all know I ain't never hit that. I was a really bad kid. I was horrible. Me, I was a mean little cuss. But you know, one thing that would break me every time, if I thought my mama was sad, that would break me in half. So 
as a mother, even when I was sad, I didn't let my children see because I remember what they did to me. Like my mama was the strongest person I knew. Y'all know I called her my pet dragon. But for me to see my mother sad, that like broke my whole heart into pieces. For her to look like somebody made her sad or God forbid to think I did something to make her sad. That broke me into pieces. So for her to tell the baby that somebody made her sad, I'm like, Kenya, be careful. Don't do that. That kind of, you know, that made the old mama and me pop out like, hey, 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 stop that. Don't do that. Oh, Southern Charm, y'all hard on a girl around here. What that boy Finesse said, he hard on a hoe. A hard on the hard on the hoe. Y'all hard on the hoe around here, boy. This is yo, who you understand why she can't keep a man. Y'all rough. Y'all the rough crowd, rough crowd. Dr. J say Monday night in the Waffle House still be full around. Girl, Dr. J, you know what? If I was there, I might get up and go to a Waffle House right now. I ain't finna do it over here by myself, but if I was in ATL right now. I could see me sliding to the Waffle House. I could see me sliding because I like them Waffle House hash browns. I ain't even going to front. I ain't going to lie. I'm for real. Ain't like a Waffle House um hash brown. But I like to sit right where I can see them cook. Hey, Gabe. And close to the door. And with Waffle House, you do have to sit close to the door because the Negroes start eating. Keisha Posey say Candy is giving Todd a pool party for his birthday. Oh, Lord. It just, everything about them just seems so cumbersome. I know it's supposed to sound exciting, but Keisha, that just sounds so just, oh. Sounds like a chore. Sounds like a chore. I can't stop laughing, homegirl. And the chat said it's Joe Exotic. Yeah, that's what Miss Kaiser and Sosa say. Joe Exotic, she say. Speaking of people in, in, in prison, y'all know um, Todd Chrisley from Chrisley Knows Best. He said he been mistreated in prison. Y'all, I read that and screamed. You hear me? I The scream, I scrumped. The scream that I scrumped. And I'm like, dear heart, this is prison. Prison. Ain't nothing. Ain't nobody gonna treat you nice in prison. That's why you're not supposed to go to prison. That's what we were told. Don't go. Hey, Gabby. She should say Nene and Tammy need to be on the show. That could work. That could work because Tammy is like, but it's like Tammy is a different RPM. Like she got personality, she's funny, but she not the loud, wild, explosive one. She kind of cool, funny, witty, snarky. Like it's two different vibes. But you put Nene and Tamar, that vibe is too similar. I'm telling you, that's enough to make somebody jump off a cruise ship. <laughs> True wisdom style whole time. His floaters, he short. You know what? If that man's jumping that pool with some floaters on, I'm leaving the earth. Shannon says she gave him a pool and he flew her and all her friends away to an exotic location. Well, that's nice. It still don't sound exciting because he, he flew her and her friends away with her money. So really, she flew her and her friends. <laughs> See how that math worked when they carry the one. Southern Charm said, what age do you stop having birthday party? When you die, when you dead, I celebrate my birthday every year, honey. Every year. My auntie, Auntie May Ola, 103 in September, and she going to have a party with her pretty self. That's my grandpapa's sister, and she is beautiful. That Her nickname in the family is Wisdom. She's still beautiful, and we celebrate her, and it's been 103. So I don't know when you stop. But I say keep the party moving. That's what I say. Keep the party moving. Yeah, the poke, Ashley, you in the pokey talking about people ain't treating you fair. You used to watch Chris the Nose Best. I couldn't stand them people. I could his voice alone see me. 
he he Elias said he going through his first prison breakup. Girl, don't mind that. Oh, <laughs> y'all are crazy. Oh my god. Who would be fighting in 10 minutes? Because all the ladies we mentioned for the, like a team, a talk show, those all the ladies is friends. Child, you say the prison staffers didn't get the Karen memo. You know, you want to know what's funny? It's a lot of Karens in prison. It's just don't nobody care. <laughs> That's the pro. It's a lot of Karens in prison, for real. Nobody cares at all, but they they in there. Because when they went to court, the judge ain't care either. You can't believe him and his wife is in prison. I'm with you. Keisha say Nene and Tammy would end up. Oh no, them, those ladies are friends. Actually, I don't. I wouldn't see them fighting. But it's like two different types of vibes. I think it would be. I could take that over Nene and Tamar because my sis AAE was like was saying Nene and Tamar. I was like, mm -mm, I couldn't survive that. I, there's no way I could watch that. They both too loud and explosive. Oh, Lala say Todd Chris Dog got a podcast trying to push that narrative, honey, that he being treated unfairly in the prison. Every single Southern charm, every single one. You doggone right. Thank you, True. I celebrate all month long. Hey, Tiffany J. Y'all hit the like button. So I knew Todd wasn't ish when he was over there on Steve Harvey, frogs of a feather. Ooh, but Steve Harvey ain't doing no prison time. So something about them feathers got to be a little different. Now, I ain't saying they both ain't doing bad things, but somebody was smart enough not to get caught. Ooh, New York, Nene, and Tammy. I don't know. You know what? Those are three different years. Those are three different vibrations. It would be a lot, but it might could work. Because New York got the bubbly, crazy, unconventional. You don't know what's going to come out of her mouth. Nene got that loud, boisterous country girl, real girl thing happening. Tammy got that low-key, snarky, slick mouth, you know, real funny type thing. I think that now that could work. But I like I said, hey, I'm not a fan of it more than one more than one like host. When it comes to daytime TV, give me one host. If you need an ensemble, you need to be doing something else for a living. I, I just I don't like that ensemble stuff. Mm -mm. He he Elias said, I can't believe it. I can believe it. When people are rich on the usually people know what they, they do. Nobody can tell me what the hell he do. Not only that, even when you know what people do, a lot of them people are rich because they broke the law. Like, can we? This is America. This is the land of the thieves. So a lot of people that's rich get a lot of crooked stuff to get there. I love them. It's, a, it's, you know, even the ones that might be legit now, a lot of them got crooked to get straight. So... It's not like they just straight the whole time. They got straight after being crooked for a while. You know what I'm saying? So it's still a matter of, you know, it just is what it is. He got caught. He just got caught. Got to be more careful. You said Steve peddling that thing like a man. Women keep buying it. And as long as women keep buying it, he ought to keep peddling it. Women need to stop buying that mess. Why on earth would you let a man tell you what type of woman you need to be? He's a man. Yeah. I mean, but I understand why some people don't care for her personality. You have to look at it. That lady has a very strong personality. When your personality is strong, 
people either gonna love it or hate it. Like it's gonna be one of the other. Like everybody ain't gonna like you. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's cool too. Everybody ain't supposed to like you. You know, I wouldn't want to live in a world where everybody like me. I wouldn't. You know, but I love me. But I understand that some people don't care for her persona, or her her energy, her vibe. Tiffany Pollard, Jennifer Williams, Nene, and Tammy. At least all these women have strong personalities and can hold their own with each other. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I don't know. I get the girl. I'm. I, I, y'all know I ain't really with the girl group stuff. I'm tired of the girl groups. Sick of them girl groups. Because, like, to me, I don't know. I'm going to keep my, pers- my, my personal opinions about all that to myself. But yeah, I don't like all that group stuff. I've never watched an episode of The View. I have never watched when before that Sister Circle crap got canceled. Never. I never watched The Real. Like anything with that, the girl group stuff, like you can count me out immediately. Because I remember days when ladies were able to daytime TV shows on their own. If your personality does not stand alone, I'm not interested in you. And I feel like that's what's wrong with RHOA. You got these people that, you know, on their own is nothing. It's fluff. And so once you move the strong personalities, we all over here so bored, we ready to rip out our own entrails. Uh, I don't really like people with no personalities, and you know, that really can't stand on their own. It's too much. Quiet song say, if everybody likes you, then you're probably not being your genuine self. Probably not. And I can't do that. I would rather kick it with the crew over here, enjoy myself, and whoever's here is here, and that's what it is. I'm not I'm not willing to conform to anything. I'm not changing anything. I'm not viewpoint on nothing. I'm not gonna change the way I see things, word things, nothing. You know, to make anybody completely comfortable. I try to be tactful. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't raised by wild animals. But that's the best I can do. I can do tact. I like Jennifer Williams. I think, and her and Nene were doing this thing online, the, you know, cocktails with Queens. And next thing we know, Clawfoot Jordan had pulled it off at, um, with Flop Soul. You know what I mean? That's just kind of what they do. They watch, everybody watch Nene for ideas, steal, and run. But that was Nene and Jennifer then, and they were on, on I think, YouTube or or Instagram. I forgot how they were doing their thing, but it was real cool. Like, that was a real cool little conversational type little vibe. I like that. I don't know. Ask Tamika what her money at. I don't like none of them girls. Why would you ask me of all people? I don't like her, her sister, Candy, hell, Tiny, Tiny on the edge. I can kind of do Tiny a little bit, but I don't like them girls like that. I don't know nothing about that girl. I ain't took nothing from her. Hey, he say, OMG, the days of Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, Sally, yep, Rolanda. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Those were the days. Donahue, Geraldo, you know, it was one person hosting the show. All this ensemble girl group bull crap. I don't want to see that. That's that new age garbage. Y'all know I'm not new. I'm old school. Yep, Montel Williams. Yep. Rochelle. What's up, boo? Dr. J say Tammy is doing own thing. She sure is. She's working through her stuff in therapy, and she'll be the first to tell you. Yep. But I just, you know, I just love Tammy. I like Tammy. I love Tammy. I love Tiffany Pollard. I love Nene. I, I like I like Tamar. I can't say I love Tamar. I like Tamar. I like her pretty good. She all right with me. But I just, you know, I, I'm not a fan of the girl group stuff on TV. Yeah, y'all, Sally Jesse Raphael came to Keller one time because my friend mama had a little substance abuse problem. And um, she helped my friend track her down at all the local little, you know, spots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't want trying to say too much because I love them folks to death. But I remember Sally Jesse had came to Keller. That was real. Oh, yep, yep. 
Ricky Lake, man, her show was hilarious. Well style. They real cool. And not only that, Jennifer Williams is like very her tent is very level and cool and placid. Very placid. Very calm. She's not explosive at all. Oh yeah, how could I forget Jerry Springer? How could I forget Jerry Springer? R.I.P. Yeah, my dad used to watch Ricky. He thought Ricky Lake was funny. He thought that show was hilarious. True wisdom say, I like all the so-called underdogs, Nene, Mariah, Tammy, Taylor. What you have you noticed that the trend with who they call underdogs are always black women who are phenotypically black with strong personalities that don't kiss behind. That is naturally who they call underdogs because it's like, please don't make it. We don't want you to make it, black girl. Please, we don't want the people to like you. Oh, my God, the people like you because the people look like you. They they identify with you because they just like you. Oh, we hate them. Let's make them villains. And it never works. It never works. That's why I always think it's real funny because places like, you know, Bravo in particular, your fan base, your, your viewership, your target demographic are regular every you know typically black women and all at the same time they mad at the phenotypically black women actually shining being fan favorites hell we the people watching common sense should tell them we're naturally going to gravitate toward those people who remind us of our god their selves and our sisters our aunties our cousins our own girls that's who we are gravitate toward you just left work all right, all right. All right, Bianca, say hit that like button. Yeah, be careful on that road now. Don't be typing while you're rolling. Now, if you do a talk to text, it might come out a little crazy, but I'd rather you do that. Don't try to type while you're rolling. But, you know, like, that's the thing that blows me away. It does. Really, really, really does. Let me see what True Wisdom say. Let me pull it up. My eyes are aching. My eyes are tired tonight. So what do you think about that Franklin girl coming out about a union? Oh, you mean Frankel, Bethany Frankel? I think the same thing Nene said. I think it's perfectly fine because she can say it and get away with it. When Nene says it, it's a problem. You know, black women's voices sent for whatever reason seems to irritate people. Anytime we say something, it can be relevant, true, necessary. And people are going to, you know, chop up to, oh, our attitudes are this. We're angry. We bitter. We everything. When they when they hear it from somebody with pills, then they can actually hear it. So I think it's great that Bethany said it. Yeah, try not to uh, pop your little butt. You on the highway, girl. Don't be doing that. <laughs> Have me scared to death. All right. I'll be making your butt check in at every stop. Like, hey, you still alive? You good? Let me know when you pull in the yard. Like that type of stuff. Don't do that. That's scared me to death. That texting and driving. Y'all don't be scared doing that. Dr. J said, how can people eat at the end counter bar I don't like people over my food. I don't either. But that was real random, Dr. J. Where you at? You, are you at the Waffle House? You must be over there. And, and I can't even tell you to get me some hash browns while you there. Dang. Yep, head to the bushes for about 15 minutes. That's what you do. Slide to the bushes. Slide to the bushes. Straight up. But yeah, y'all, I've been noticing. I don't know. I feel like, oh, she is over at the Waffle House. I'm so jealous. Oh, my God. That's what I would love right now. Hash browns and orange juice. 
Lord, I just saw my sis sent me his text talking about Sharice, talking about them Lord Farquaad wigs. I'm through. Through. Deliver me. Yeah, I'm the same way, Shannon. I'm bad with a text. Somebody will text me and I'll be meaning to text you back. And my mind will tell me I done texted you back too. I'll be done type the whole thing, ain't sent nothing. Yeah, you want to talk to me, it's better you call now. If, you, if I miss the call, text me and just let me know, hey, I just called you. Something like that. But anything you really want me to know, call me. Oh, Nacho Twins Mama stay smothered and covered, please. Yes. With some urn juice. True wisdom says she wants us with runny eggs. I've never eaten a runny egg in my life. If the egg is running, somebody better catch him because I'm not eating that. Not eating that. Mm -mm. I can't hang. I can't hang. Not with a runny egg. No, no, no. I remember somebody asked me to make them a sunny side of egg. I was I was in there like nervous, like I was building a neutrino bomb or something. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never cooked this before. I pulled it off though. I did it right too. But I was nervous because I never cooked that before. Miss Kaz so say she wishing for she wishing for Waffle House. Mm, ain't no Waffle House in the Bay Area, huh? I feel you. Child, why is um Erica Badu trying to pretend like Beyonce trying to steal her look with them big ugly hats she be wearing? I mean, she really tried it. The hat don't look nothing alike. We know Beyonce had on this wide brim situation in that formation video. So now the lady on tour with the hat reminiscent of what she wore in the video, I think five or six years back. And Erica Badu talking about she, I inspire everybody. Girl, that hat ain't even similar. The brim is too wide. The top is too short. It's a whole different style of hat. Like, what are you even talking about? I'm like, Erica, now, girl, go make us some more music or something instead of being on social media with the shenanigans. <laughs> oh, no, true wisdom. You want them sunny side up girls talking about, yep, my husband burst my yoke, I'm pissed. Y'all in that yoke. I did it, though. You know, because I'm a cook, I, I, you know, I'm sensitive about my stuff. Okay, let me borrow that from Erica Badu. I love Erica, but she crazy about that hat. But, um, yeah, they said sunny side up. I had to sit there and think that thing through. I said, okay, I can do this. And I did it, too. I sure did. I was nervous, but I got it done. Um, you know what? Gabor sent that to me that Giselle daddy was dead. You know, shot, you know, RIP to daddy graves. RIP to daddy graves. He done gone on to his um eternal reward, wherever that may be. I didn't know him, and I ain't, I'm you know, we can't lie him into heaven or nothing else. I don't know his story, but you know, RIP to him, and hopefully, you know, he made his home in the proper place. He seemed like a real cool old man in his old age, you know. So hopefully, you know, his family will be all right. And I'm sure he left some folks behind to grieve over him. I'm sure them grandchildren is really going to miss their pop pop. Lala said, now, Erica, we love you, but I'm sure your arms and back are hurting because that was quite a reach. Yes, it was. I couldn't, I couldn't, I really couldn't believe Erica did that. Like, girl, stop it. Stop it. We still like you with your crazy self. Give us some more music. We'll listen to it. I promise we will. Erica, my dude, doesn't want to change on us. She don't want to give us no music. 
but then jump on social media every now and then saying change. I just can't tell you why. Oh, Shannon be typing testing. What are you testing, Shannon? Yeah, we talked about that yesterday, True Wisdom. You was here. Dr. J say my two grand nieces was driving me are driving me crazy. They call in an order. They forgot we in Atlanta. They pick up the phone when you put then put you on hold. They come back and pretend to write down your order. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. That's so cute. <laughs> so they thinking that they really get that the order was really taken so that means you got to make the order all over again and then wait for it my girl that's funny that is funny mm -hmm. It was one, um, what was that darn movie? Oh, man. And I wanted to tell y'all about it, too. Because it really was good. It's on Netflix. Hold on. Say, I sent something three times from one device, and it's not showing up in the chat. Oh, I don't know. Because when you, yesterday you said testing and I saw it just fine. This time I see you. Is it under the same account? Is it under a different account? You see my email scrolling. Email me the name and I'll check and see if somebody accidentally blocked it or something. Because I see you just fine here. Let me know what's going on. And if I can help. Now, I don't want to see home record. I ain't watched that one yet. But it was one of them. Hold on, I'm going to tell y'all the name of this movie. It's going to come to me. Oh, it did the same thing yesterday. I saw you yesterday type test. I'm like, what is she talking about testing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to find that movie. Oh, it had been working the whole time and then all of a sudden stopped. I don't know what happened. No, I ain't watch no Mark Hart on Netflix. I don't even know what that is. Oh, you was trying to do the talk to text on the other phone. I don't know what happened. I can't imagine what could have happened. Oh, I'm going to find the name of that movie, y'all. Y'all have got to see it. I just got to remember what it is first. Oh man, it's fairly new too, and it's irritating me because I can't find it with this darn movie. Y'all got to see this. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I ain't seen that. Other day, I watched the Benzino video. 
girl with him up there um with no clothes on dancing around did you see him doing that interview talking crying and stuff talking about that he was so hurt that Corey was telling people he was a deadbeat daddy and that hurt him so bad because he loved that little girl so much i said oh boy he's so sensitive and he's still talking about the 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 old days at that at source magazine and how he had to have seven men to come out with firearms for Jay-Z and Damon Dash. And I'm like, child, would you stop it? Like, you know, I don't know. These men are something. You not, well, you not that no more. Whatever you used to be, you're absolutely not that. So why are we still having to hear about your old glory days? Just why? It's nowhere near as entertaining as they think it is. Y'all, if I wasn't trying to find this movie, I could have found it already. seduction that's the one y'all got to watch that movie you really do that thing turned out to be good it wasn't what i thought it was y'all i thought it was one of the nasty movies and um they said I, I, like the preview didn't look like it was nasty so i said i look at it and see you know i get out a couple minutes I don't like what I see out of here. Now, it started off a little racy. I gave him a chance, and I'm glad I did, because the movie was good. It was good. It's called Fatal Seduction. Miss Sparkle. Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. Well, look, y'all, I done been on this going on two hours. I've been running my mouth. I'm so glad y'all hung out with me for a little while. It's it's too quiet in here, and I needed somebody to talk to. I'm more than likely be back tomorrow so I can talk to y'all. <laughs> All right. Well, look, let me say this. Make sure y'all that like button way in. If on the way out, rather, if you didn't hit it on the way in, I hope you hit it on the way in or while you were sitting here. But if you didn't, if you didn't, ain't no thing. Maybe you was too busy, you know, kicking with us or whatever. So please make sure you hit like button on the way out. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Keep it all for you every time you go live on this porch. Also, please, please, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you want to join channel membership, there is a join button underneath the video and the membership link in the description box. And I'll talk to y'all again real soon. For real. Y'all have a wonderful night, okay? And as always, take your prayers, sweet drinks. And if nobody else tells you, please know. God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Talk again soon, and hopefully, the cast ain't at the food. Okay? Good night, y'all.